All right, today we're going to show you how to add a column or alter a table in MySQL. So we're going to start out with this table that looks like this with a, a few different columns in it. Now this basically lists the columns right here. We're not showing the contents of the table, just what columns exist in the table. Now let's say if you wanted to add a column to this table, you can add it like this. We're going to copy this piece of code here and paste it in here. Now we say alter table and then the table name, which in this case is food, and we say add column, and the column we want to add is called flavor code, and the type is going to be an int. So hit enter, and there we go. Now I used two lines just to make it look neat so it wouldn't be confusing to look at the command, but this is all one command on two lines terminated with a semicolon. And there we go. Now let's take a look at our table. Describe food and we can see we have added a column to this table. Now, let, let's say if we wanted to, one other thing to point out is that you can actually alter this table. You, you don't actually have to use the column keyword. We're gonna show you a few other quick examples, so bear with me here. So, I'm gonna add another column. We don't wanna delete this, so we're just gonna change it. And say, notice in our first command, we said add column. Here we're just gonna say add and put the, the new column name. And let's see here, describe food, there we go. We have a new column name and we didn't have to specify the column keyword. Just something to point out if you wanna make your, your commands a little bit more concise. Now, let's say if you want to, uh, if the position is not specified, the, the column will be placed last. So notice here, each of these is placed last. Right, so you might not want that, right? So you can, you can say, you can specify after another column. So take this for example, you can alter table, add column texture. We're adding a new column called texture. It's gonna be a varchar in this case, instead of an int. And, then, and we're gonna say after name. So it's gonna come after the, the uh, um, you know what? I'm gonna have to change that. I didn't use the word name. So we can say after, food name right here, right? And now when we describe our table, see texture was added, varchar15 was added right after food name. Now let's see here. We want to, let's say if you want to specify the position as the first column, you can just say first instead of after, you can just specify first, right? So we can go like this. Now let's add a, a unique name say ABC just to give it a unique name and let's remember our semicolon here describe food and there we go we, we uh, added a column to the very beginning so that's all fine and great now let's say if we want something that is not null right we can specify not null we can add a column and say we want this column to be not null we're gonna add the column flavor code and it's a duplicate, no problem. Let's just call it two, whoops. All right, so let's run it like this. Um, let's clear this a little bit, paste in a new command. And here we go, we're gonna, just gonna call it flavor code two. There's no real reason to put a column like that in there, but you know, just so you see how this is done. So, and we also have a flavor code that's right, you know what, we're just gonna make this a three. There we go. Describe food, flavor code three, null is set to no, so it can't be null. So we added a constraint saying, hey, you can't, you can't make this null, right? Now, Let's say if you wanted to add two columns at once, you can add multiple columns. So here's an example of how you might do that. Alter table food, add column, description, varchar 100, not null, and add column calorie code, decimal 10 comma two, not null. So both of them are gonna be not null, one's a varchar, one's a decimal, um, description and calorie code. Let's give this a shot. And there we go. So let's describe our table. 
And there we go, we see two new columns added to the end by default, description and calorie code. So there you go, that is how you can alter a table and add a column in MySQL. Hopefully you found this useful. You might wanna give me a thumbs up if you know something I don't know or something I left out. You know, leave a comment down below for the other people watching this video, not just for me. And um, you might wanna hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon, otherwise YouTube won't let you know that they won't let you know when we come out with a new video so definitely hit both the subscribe and the bell icon you don't want to miss out on our other great content we do we're going to be doing a lot more mysql stuff a lot of linux stuff we also do a lot of other things like hardware hardware software coding servers raspberry pis 3d printing networking all sorts of great tech stuff you're going to want in your youtube feed so make sure you do uh, hit that subscribe button as always thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video